hello students this video is about how to solve a river boat problem in kinematics so here i have an example that a boat is traveling at the rate of 2.5 meter per second to west and the water current in the river has a rate of 6 meter per second to south and we have to find the resultant velocity for that boat first thing second we have to find the time taken by the boat to cross the river means when it goes from one shore to another then we have to find that much time period if the width of river is given 40 meter and the last thing is when that boat is crossing the river it travel a distance downstream so we have to find the position or the distance downstream for the position to the other shore for the boat so these three things we have to find so let's see how we can do that these are the directions first we have to remember the direction that north south east and west first thing then we have a river okay we have a river let it be like this this is the river whose width is 40 meters and in river a boat is traveling at the rate of 2.5 meter per second to west suppose this is the position at any instant of the boat then its moving direction is towards west and it is moving at the rate of 2.5 meter per second so this is the velocity of boat i am writing it as vb so vb is equal to 2.5 meter per second towards west next we have the water current in the river at the rate of 6 meter per second to the south so water current is going like this towards south and this water current is at the rate of 6 meter per second let it be v w so the velocity of water current is 6 meter per second towards south now we have to find the resultant velocity so for first resultant velocity ke liye hame iska magnitude and direction both we have to find so for resultant velocity i am considering it as vr if we apply vector law of addition then we have to plot a vector like this from initial point to the arrow of this vector then this represents the resultant velocity and we have to find the direction of it and magnitude of it first we are talking about the magnitude of vr vector so its magnitude is under root vb square plus vw square just as we apply triangular law of vector addition by solving this we can uh, find the value of resultant velocities magnitude so it will be under root vb square means 2.5 square plus 6 square and it will be 6.25 plus 36 and it is root 42.25 or if we solve this we get 8 6.5 meter per second now this is the magnitude of resultant velocity now let's talk about its direction so for direction we have to take a reference or the x axis jahan se hum iske direction ko measure karenge so if this is the origin this is west direction and here will be the direction east or 0 degree we can see it as 0 degree suppose here this is 0 90 180 and our resultant is somewhere in this direction so we have to find this angle because angle that we have to find it should be from 0 degree or if we find this much then we can also write it as theta like this angle to be theta then we have to mention the direction of velocity is theta from west right so uh, if agar hum iska answer sirf theta likhte hain then we have to mention that theta from west or else we have to find the complete angle means we have to find theta and then add 180 to it so there are two ways to express the answer and it depends on the reference point that we are considering so for this we have to find this angle theta first now 
if I'm talking about this triangle, so I can find 10 theta by vertical component upon horizontal component. So vertical component is VW and horizontal component is VB, velocity of water current upon velocity of boat and its ratio will be 6 upon 2.5 which is equal to 2.4. So theta is equal to tan inverse 2.4 that means the value of this angle the value or the direction of the resultant velocity is at angle theta from west so resultant velocity vr is at angle theta from west to south if i only mention from west then it can be anywhere so from west to south or i can write it as it is the direction of resultant velocity is towards towards pi plus theta radians right pi plus theta radians is is value ke equal it will be the answer it will be the direction of vr where theta is given by tan inverse 2.4 so itne radians pe hame direction milega of resultant velocity after getting both magnitude and direction we get the complete resultant velocity for that boat now moving to the second point in second point we have to find the time taken by the boat to cross the river now time taken by the boat to cross the river for that we have to use the formula velocity is equal to or speed is equal to distance upon time since there is no change in velocity throughout the motion so there is no concept of acceleration if acceleration was provided then we had to use equations of motion like s is equal to ut plus half at square to solve this but since there is no acceleration a is zero so we simply has to use the relation distance is equal to speed into time and for that the distance that it has to travel is 40 meter in horizontal so 40 meter towards west that boat has to travel and we have to find the time for this and its velocity in the west direction is 2.5 so we are going to use the velocity of boat only because that is the motion of boat jiski hum baat kar rahe, right so this is the motion in which it has to cover 40 meter from the velocity 2.5 so boat has to cover 40 meter distance from the velocity 2.5 and we have to find the time for that let's see how we can do that so for second point the relation that we are going to use is distance is equal to the speed into time or how many hai time so time is equal to jayega, distance upon speed here in case of boat it has to travel 40 meter with a speed of 2.5 meter per second in west so its time taken will be 40 upon 2.5 which is 16 seconds so the answer for this part is 16 seconds now for the third part in third part we have to find the distance downstream the boat reach to opposite shore so this is diagram banate hai pehle. so situation is like this that this is the river a boat starts traveling from here and it moves towards west direction with a velocity of 2.5 meter per second but there is water current which is moving at the rate of 6 meter per second towards south so at the end when this boat ne ye pura river cross kiya, its final position is not here it will be somewhere downwards to this means here we will get position milega. and we have to find this distance that is travelled by the boat means wo kitna downwards hume mila that we have to find now for this motion only vertical velocity of water current is responsible and the time taken during this process that we have calculated is 16 second 
सो टाइम टेकिन यहाँ से यहाँ तक आने का इज सिक्सटीन सेकेंड द स्पीड और वेलासिटी दैट इज़ रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस मोशन इज़ ओनली सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड विच इज़ द स्पीड ऑफ वाटर करेंट सो वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस दिस वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस सिंस वी आर यूजिंग वर्टिकल वेलासिटी दैट देन वी गेट इन द आंसर वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय द बोट सो दिस वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस विल बी स्पीड इन टू टाइम दैट मीन्स सिक्स इन टू सिक्सटीन सो आंसर इज नाइन्टी सिक्स मीटर दैट मीन्स वी गेट द बोट नाइन्टी सिक्स मीटर डाउन फ्राम इट्स इनिशियल पोजिशन जहाँ से इसने स्टार्ट किया था इस शोर से चलना उससे वर्टिकली नाइन्टी सिक्स मीटर डाउन हमें मिलेगा दैट मीन्स दिस डिस्टेंस इज नाइन्टी so this is how we can solve river boat problem easily by plotting the diagram so diagram is the key if you make the diagram correctly it is very clear how to solve the problem and it will never be wrong so practice it for further such videos stay tuned keep studying thank you